Now let's look at Lenz's law in relation to two solenoids positioned side by side as we see in the picture. The solenoid on the left has a switch attached to it and once we close the switch a current is going to flow through the coils in the solenoid and is going to create a magnetic field running down the center. Once this magnetic field is created inside solenoid A it's going to pass through solenoid B, changing the flux experienced by B. So there will be an induced EMF in the solenoid B. Even though they're not electrically connected, they're going to be connected magnetically. If the switch remains closed, that magnetic field will remain through B at a, and there will be no change in flux, therefore no current in solenoid B. The first thing we need to do is determine which way the current will actually flow through the coils so that we can use our first right hand rule to determine which way the magnetic field is through the center of solenoid A. So we can see that once the switch closes, current will flow from positive behind the solenoid down in front in these coils and then back around to negative. Let's label our current with a red arrow. Now let's use the right hand rule and determine which way the field lines are. If I direct my thumb down the direction of the current in the solenoid itself, you'll see that your fingertips will wrap around through the center of that solenoid loop and point towards the right. So our magnetic field will be towards the right as shown. We're going to put red arrows to represent our magnetic field lines. So this is what it'll look like the second the switch is closed. Now once again, let's look at solenoid B. Before the switch was closed, there was no field lines or no flux passing through solenoid B. It wants to remain at zero. So all of a sudden I've got these red magnetic field lines extending through it to the right. It wants to get back to a state of zero. So it has to induce an EMF and induce a current to cancel off that red magnetic field line. So it wants to create a current to create magnetic field lines to the left to oppose it. Let's draw those field lines in. So the green lines represent the magnetic field that's going to be induced in solenoid B. All that's left now is to determine which way the current will have to flow through solenoid B to create those magnetic field lines to the left so that a north pole is on the left hand side of solenoid B. So my fingertips have to wrap around to the left inside the solenoid and my thumb will be in the direction of the current through the loops. And if you do this you should find that your thumb is pointing upwards at the front of the loop. Let's draw the current in with green lines we see that the current runs upwards in the front of the solenoid back around and down from B to A through the resistor on the right hand circuit. It is important to note that after the switch has been closed for a long time the current will diminish to zero in solenoid B because the flux will no longer be changing. So the current will vanish, the green lines will disappear and all that will be left are the red lines passing through it, which represent the magnetic field from A. What would happen if I suddenly opened the switch? Work this through, see if you can determine that the field will be to the right in solenoid B, and the induced current will be in the opposite direction. 